Hello you guys. So today I've got a doll unboxing for you guys. It is a rainbow high doll. It's Emmy Vanda and I'm excited to do it. Um, I think one of the reasons I got into collecting dolls was um, I really liked the fashion part of them and then uh, I really liked like my Nana, I remember when I was a kid, she had all these porcelain dolls and I won't collect those because I'm clumsy. <laughs> I have like broken glass. But um, no, I remember she had the pretty skirts and the dresses. And as a kid, I was very like, I had a few close friends, but I was a very, not a very social kid. Like I was very kept to myself, was kind of shy. Um, I was confident, but I was shy. Um which is hard to picture because I'm a talkative person, right? Um, so I got into collecting dolls. It was one of those things like I didn't feel so alone when I had my dolls. Every doll was different, which I liked about that. I liked, I liked that. Dolls are, um, dolls are very unique to me. Um, like every character doll is different. And, uh, so I recently watched Rainbow High on Netflix and I got, it, I thought it was cute and I got into it once I watched it and I was, I've been, so, which is why I've been doing a lot of Rainbow High unboxings. Um, I like the LOL dolls though because those are like bright and colorful. Uh, but I got Emmy Vanda and I did a little bit of research after watching the show online because I wanted to see if they had like the biographies like they used to I think years ago for Monster High and uh, they do have the biography online and I wanted to know more about Emmy's character to tell you guys about her before I unbox her. So Emmy actually, uh, Rainbow High is supposed to be like a visual arts kind of school. Um, so everyone there kind of studies some sort of art mixed media kind of uh things like that and uh emmy paints everything and it says she painted on everything and every moment not spent making art is a moment wasted for emmy um her parents wanted her to i guess be a doctor or a lawyer uh so i all i could think when i read that was like don't all parents <laughs> um but her passion is art, and it says uh, she's finally where she's able to do art all the time, which is Rainbow High, and she can express herself with who she is versus who her parents want her to be. And it says she's a little angsty, a bit rebellious, kind of dark, a touch of moody, super dry, sarcastic, and never boring. I like that she's sarcastic. I get along with sarcastic people. And then it says... Emmy is the only member of the team, Gabriella, which is another doll uh, character, doesn't have under her thumb, which I found that interesting. Um, and so at the bottom, it's got in quotes, need more paints. Um, given that it's a visual art school, uh, they do like a lot of fashion and Rainbow High is all about that in the arts. Um, so I really really like the whole concept of this brand of dolls of like a visual art school and uh I thought that was the coolest thing ever um and I picture it being like a private school oddly enough uh, I feel like it'd be really expensive because it seems like from the show that it's really hard to get in there um like they have so many spots so um yeah, I liked this. I noticed when I read, like, after I was reading a bit of their bios, it it was pretty cool. But, like, when I read Jade's, her, her bio, for instance, says, like, I feel like Emmy's look is kind of what I thought they were more going to go for with, like, Jade. Um... Because, like, Jade is supposed to be moody, misunderstood. Um, kind of, but Jade looks more like a tomboy. Like, she likes being comfy and bold. Um, like, I feel like they were 
going for an edgy look with Jade, at least I thought from watching the show, but Jade just didn't look that edgy. Um, so after reading their bios, that makes more sense. They were going for like comfy kind, whereas Emmy's supposed to be more angsty, rebellious um, look to her. And she does have a really cool look, to be honest. I was liking it as I was looking at it in the store. I liked Georgia's look too though, so and Georgia's like supposed to be Southern Belle kind of I, I almost went home with Georgia. Um if I had gone home with Georgia you would have been seen seen me attempt a really bad southern accent given I'm from the north. <laughs> I don't even know if I could do a southern accent to be honest. Okay, let's see if I can open her up. But the worst part, I think, of an unboxing is opening the box. <laughs> I, l I love doing them because I like getting to talk about the different dolls. I like showing you guys the different dolls. I really like her color scheme, like with the purple and the black. Um, I feel like it's very interesting that they went for the collect the rainbow um, logo because all I can think of is Skittles when I read it. I'm over here like, I feel like it makes me want Skittles to be honest. I. I don't know about you guys, I used to um, color code my Skittles. I was very big on Skittles being eaten according to their color. Um, like I wanted to eat all my oranges at once and all the purples and all the reds. Um, so that was, that was me as a kid, which is kind of funny looking back. I don't know what my Skittle... Like, they were all going in the same place. It shouldn't have mattered if one was orange and one was red. Okay, I think that is it for the accessories. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything in the box. I am missing something in the box. <laughs> I'm missing the stand. I thought, I thought it was odd that it was, like, as thick as it was. I knew they came with stands. I was hoping they didn't forget my stand. Because I keep all mine, uh, like, up in displayed in the, in the back over there. Okay. Let's... And she comes with hangers. Woo! I love that she's got like little hangers, unlike, unlike Barbies. <laughs> Not to like slander Barbie. I, I actually don't mind Barbie all that much. I actually really like Barbie. Um, the cool thing about Barbie is that Barbie has like so many jobs. I think that's cool. Um, I just wish Barbie had more diversity to it. I mean, like, They've got different colored hairstyles, and now they're starting to get more, like, body shapes and things like that, but I don't know. Something about, they're not, maybe it's because Barbies don't seem as, like, fun. They seem very grown-up-ish, you know? Like, the Barbie extras to me looked cool. Maybe that's because I'm very extra myself, though. <laughs> like, they're, they were kind of, like, the fashions are kind of, um, I saw one YouTuber use the word garish, and I, I had to Google it. Um, it's a British word, I think, because I've never heard that in Maine. Or maybe it is a Maine word, an American word, and I'm just uneducated. Um... But it, it was outlandish, you know, pretty much. Like, very bright and showy. And uh, I was like, yeah, that's that's exactly what it is. Um, they're, not, they're not as garish. I like a garish <laughs> doll style. Like, I like the bright, the colorful, the showy. And uh, not all Barbies seem very, like, out there to me. Like, as, I don't know. The Barbie extras seemed a lot more fun. Um, 
I do like how Barbie's evolved over the years. I will say that much. So here I am doing a Rainbow High unboxing, and I got into the topic of Barbies, and I don't know how we got here. <laughs> That's how off track my brain goes. Kind of makes me laugh, though. We'll uh, get her uh, clothes open. Oh, I'm going to need scissors because I ain't ripping no fabric. I can just see that one coming. I like that the rainbow highs come with an extra outfit because I feel like you can never have enough doll clothes. And you know what a kid usually asks, what I usually asked for as a kid when I got a doll? Doll clothes. I wanted to always be able to change and dress and mix and match. So I like, I like that the uh, MGA thought of that like ahead of time with the rainbow highs. They were like, we already know. People are going to want more of this. No, but I feel like it just makes them a lot more fun. Like, because one doll doesn't seem very entertaining unless you have a slew of clothes. <laughs> But I think that's a westernized problem too. Like I feel like we're not like as as grateful for what we get here in America or like in the western world or like I feel like we take a lot of the really good things that we have for granted sometimes like the access to education and things like that. Not to go on like a soapbox or anything. I think I think too it depends on the person as well though. Because I'm sure it's not just like the westernized world. Like I was watching World Strictest Parents and I absolutely love that show. Um I was watching it on YouTube. I was watching the UK and the New Zealand version of it. Um on YouTube and they send these kids that are wild and rebellious and take things for granted to other countries and I don't know if it was like the culture shock or like the discipline that they get um what kind of really turn like change the kids at the end um but the goal is to kind of get their behavior better and things like that and um yeah, it was amazing to see get to see the footage of some of the other countries that they were sending them to. And it does get make you really think like, wow, I'm taking some things for granted. Um, I really liked it. There we go. We've got one shoe. So they give an extra pair of shoes and socks. I'm going to have to untie this though. But this is her purple shoe with like, it's got some sort of moons on the side of it. Um, with the lace and I can't get the little sock off the thing. It took me a minute there. There we go. The little tie-up shoe with the sock. I think that's kind of cool because it means you can mix and match the, uh, the socks. That is awesome. It also means that they're never going to be tied on the doll very nice. <laughs> like, they're not going to, um, yeah, that's, 
because my bows look, <laughs> they look kind of funky sometimes. Like uneven laces drive me nuts as well. It's like a pet peeve of mine. I feel like if you're living with somebody with like maybe some OCD or something or like that has that as a pet peeve, that would be frustrating. Um, but no, they're cute. They actually like, they're actually really cute shoes. Ooh, I like those. I like the little socks too. And so she's got this little purple hoodie with, is that a shirt underneath? Wait, can the, can that, is that like connected to the hoodie? Okay, so we got a hoodie and um, to make it even better, the hoodie's got a shirt underneath. And the shirt says, hi, rainbow high. I thought it said hi bow and I was like, what? No, rainbow high. That makes sense now. It's got the doll logo on it. And then this little like black jean skirt with these little uh, ribbons on it. I like that. I like that a lot. And my stand is put together. So when I when I fight with my doll, I always get terrified like I'm gonna like cut some part of my doll when I go to um when I go to um like I'm gonna cut off the hair or something when I go to get use my scissors. The more thing, the the one thing that we'd like more when it comes to toys is less um less packaging and ribbons. Like I don't know, that would be like if I had a wish list to send to a company, I'd be like, look, if you can make a product that I don't have to use scissors for and that's easier to unbox, I'm there for it. Um. I think uh, MGA though, I'm sure it's so that the product doesn't like move around and get scratched or damaged, but oh, it's just like a general kind of Now, dolls are usually worth um, more money when you don't unbox them, but I hate leaving mine in the box. I'm always like, what's the point of buying it if it's going to sit there in a box and get dusty? I like it out of the box. <laughs> Like that is, I don't know, I'm just very like, I like Emmy a lot. She is adorable. Oh, I like, I like her. I do think I've got to brush out her hair though, a little. But she is pretty. Now I wonder, is there like a shirt under her sweater? Nope, this, this sweater doesn't have a shirt and it looks like the, um, it looks like it's the sweater's got like a, she doesn't come with an actual purse. It's just the fabric is made to look like there's a purse on it. It's got, it has got says rainbow on the front. She's even 
got, I'm going to need scissors because there's two little divots. She's got these little uh, silver hoodie string, the little ribbon hoodie strings. Yeah, I, I like her. I like the uh, little pleated skirt she's got. I can just get that little divot thing out. It fell. And she's got another down here. There we go. She's got the little pleated skirt. She's got the, uh, the little purple knee-high boots. Oh, my, um, my mom number two, Jennifer uh, Dyer here would love her boots, I think. She would get a kick out of those. I like her, though. There's something about her. She's got, like, kind of maroony colored plum lipstick. She's got the purple eyeshadow. Her eyes are like this mix of blue and purple that I really, really like. And I like her, she's got like perfectly shaped eyebrows. I love how like every Rainbow High doll, like they be plucking or something. They're like perfectly adorable. I feel like not everyone's eyeshadow eyes like look that gorgeous. <laughs> and match their facial features so well. Like I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only person who like, they, they look like they've been done by a makeup artist is what they look like. And I, I she's just so cute. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I like this. I am glad I got to unbox her today. I'm not gonna put up her second outfit because this would be a very long video. <laughs> to undress the doll and put on her second outfit. Um, sometimes when I display them, I display them in different outfits. At some point, I kind of want to move my upper um, apartment uh, room around and I would like to like do my office so that my dolls are displayed in the back after I unbox them because I think that would be really, really cool. Um, but I will let you guys go. Bye everyone.